moment to shine, kiddo. Good luck. Let's take this piece of wonder tech for a whirl. You're a man of little faith. See? We're rich. Now fire her up and call me when you're underway. Tell you where to go. Hmm. Looks like this will be a cool breeze. Nothing personal, Gopa. Just biz. Rayfield's mine. What? Man, never heard of thieves' honor. Finders keepers. I was first. Listen, only one of two ways to do this. Friendly or fucked up. Either way, the ending's the same. I'm taking the car. What? What are you doing? Conchigados? NCPD! Drop your weapons! You're under arrest! Hands where I can see him. Nice and slow. Jackie Wells, my old pal from the hood. See you haven't grown an ounce wiser. Hey, <clears throat> Detective Stintz. Been a while, huh? Inspector Stintz. <clears throat> Same shit. Speaking of, your mug's familiar too. Yeah? Yours ain't to me. Left for Atlanta, looking for a slice of happiness. Guess you didn't find it. I've always maintained it's the same for all you termites in Haywood. Born here, live here, die here. Looks like I was right. You know, fuck all about me. Truth hurts, huh? Just watch your tone. I'm not a patient man. Hey, come on, Stintz. Give us a break, huh? You lock us up, they just jerk off till trial. And then what? Worst case, we get some months. Hell, standing room only nowadays in El Bote. So, they'll probably be out early. This is pointless. I know where I'm gonna strike before I do it. Typical. Knew I'd say that. Here for a fight. Which one of you's my guy? Me. Wasn't expecting a tag team, but whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. So, what? I'm seeing double? I used to be twins. Which you could probably guess. The twins had a close bond. They wanted to be closer. Stronger. So they installed neural oscillation sinks. And now they're... Well... Me. One, one person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. Fine. But we're raising the stakes. Fair. See no problem with that. So? Well, can, Can we, we get, get started? started? Show me what you got.
No designated landing site has been detected at the destination. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. We have arrived at your destination. Fuck's your problem, Psycho Suit! This look like a landing pad to you. Could have fucking crushed us. Oh, okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Oh, Seems trouble once in. Keep an eye on the AV for me, will you? I don't get paid to do that. I wasn't asking. I'm not a scratch on it when I get back. Welcome to Lizzie's. Tell me what's got your shorts in a night. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? knew it's Senora Wells. Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life. Here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. Oh, but we are. They just don't know it yet. Ready to get your cherry popped? <laughs> yeah, come on! Ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> hmm. Huh. I'm gonna bypass the cup and rig a hot water. Compressor will run on and on. Could seize up. Did anyone ask your opinion? Like I was telling you. No. Not shabby at all. The question's how long it'll last you. Yeah, it'll get me to Night City. I figure something else out there. Right. Mm -hmm. Antenna 
on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a few hours past. I, I, I thought he'd at least called in. Don't you sweat it, Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. No need to worry. I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? this Do this! Implantations against my beliefs. Please! I do not want them! Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down, everybody, on the ground. I want to see you kissing the flooring. Money, now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God. Well, yeah, hey, I, I, now, before I blow your fucking head off. Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. That was too much. Felt, I could feel the guy's pain, his stress, his hope. Hope wrapped up in something else. Mm-hmm. Probably took a booster just before. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. I'll sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array. You'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. 
full cam control and analysis mode. So move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind. Roll it back to the top. Can I, can I? All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing on the creative. You go in, session cash. Yeah. Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the Enviro recorded by the BD Roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. Okay, right here. Excellent. Let's move on. Now, heads up. In analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. Pack of six, case of brosif, and a couple of zappers. Okay, we have a deal today on two flavors. Cuddy and uh, Serpent. Everybody! On a... So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously. Like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Ah, what I see you kissing the flooring! Money! Never! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw. Stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recording. Huh. <laughs> Hello, nice. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Well, I'm gonna take no, fucking head off! See that? They shot him and he never saw it coming. But you will. Here it comes. My favorite part of the game. See the blinking thing over the entrance? Surveillance cam. Must have caught our shooter. You'll see in a sec. Cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk. Roll back to where the screen's in the kid's field of vision. Then scan it. His own chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the law. So Braindance is a pretty big part of the cyberpunk universe. It's not just something used for adult films. There is an awful lot to it. And there's two sides I'd really like you guys to help me explore. First is the lore. So how this actually fits into the universe. And then there's the gameplay side. So how players will be interacting with it. So Patrick, could you tell us more about the lore of Braindance? I would love to. 
Uh, so in the world of Cyberpunk 2077, Braindance was invented way back in the early 2000s at UC Santa Cruz. It was developed as a way of recording a person's experiences and then playing them back for someone else as, so that they could relive them as though it was happening to them. It was originally used for things like therapy and prisoner rehabilitation, but by 2077 it's become this global media industry, including things like movies, mass, mass entertainment, things like that, video games, some interactive things and of course adult fare as well. Now in our game we deal a lot with black brain dances or XBDs as we call them and there are different types of those but the one that you saw in the trailer just there was a flatliner. Now that's where the person recording it actually dies during the recording and it's popular with sort of an illicit kind of a thrill but a mercenary can also use them for various things and you'll see that in the game of course. And from the gameplay perspective, we have been working a lot throughout last years trying to figure out the best way how to use the brain dance in the game as a mechanics. So what we have settled on is this brain dance editor mode. As a player, you will be able to run the brain dance in the editor mode and see different clues that have been registered on the peripheral of given actor. Now, as a player, you can slide on the timeline of the recording back and forth, trying to uncover different clues. And that clues are actually telling a story in the game. So as a player, you will run different investigations that will lead you to uh, different mysteries and you will uncover them actually using that brain dance as a mechanics in the game. So as Pavel was saying, we use Braindance as a storytelling tool. It's not a collectible, it's not something where you're gonna go in and you're gonna play it and you're gonna be like, ah, I've seen this before. What we use Braindance for is to give you a keyhole into the life of the residents of Night City. And we can explore things like childhood trauma, religion, various philosophical ideas in a way that you might not otherwise experience in a story about a mercenary on the tough streets. So we've tried to talk about some of the aspects that we think the community will find really exciting, but you know, while you're both here, I'd love to know what is it about cyberpunk that you guys are really excited for? Uh, Patrick, why don't you start? So one of the things that I'm most excited about in this game is the characters and the way they interact with the world. We've got this really interesting world that stretches all the way back to the Cyberpunk 2020 source material and all of these events and all of those things, but those don't mean anything unless they connect with characters. And so when we come up with a character, we start with their function. What is this person? What do they do in the story? But we don't stop there. We go back and we figure out what was their childhood like? What was their upbringing like? What kind of obstacles did they face in this harsh reality? And did they overcome them? And how did they overcome them? Or did they not overcome them and why? And you can see all of those things in their environment, in their dialogues, in sort of how they operate in the world. And we come up with that for all of our characters. Now you look at someone like Victor Vector. I love this town, the city of endless opportunity. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on. City like any other, just bigger. No, mano, not just any other city. Legends are born here. The major leagues. We're only here because Dex is pulling the strings. Doubt that puts us in the same league as them. But we are. They just don't know it yet. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a bull. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. So what's the gig, Dex? You meant to come out in one piece? <laughs> How about we go over the plan? There's this prototype tech, a biochip to be precise. Job to grab it. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. We are robbing some heavy hitters. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Ka-ching, baby. Goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. Sounds simple enough. He's lit, assholes! Is it gonna be dangerous? Don't you worry, me, boy. We're bulletproof. Get your ass moving now! What the fuck just happened in there? Can't stop digging night city. Fucking major leaks. Happy now, Jackie? Yep, I fucking hide! Time to bail! Oh my god, we're so fucked. Dicks!